way back as far as you can see is trash collection and also in front of us is trash collection and this is not the fabled St. Paul trash problem I am informed but uh when I was told that it was I believed it so uh <laughs> I didn't think this was a permanent solution, but document shredding. They really do have just about everything though. As much of a clusterfuck as this looks like, it, almost, it actually seems kind of organized. So, uh, it's bizarre. So here's the hazardous waste station. This is one of the more bizarre things I've, I've ever witnessed. Because they're burning so much gas and collecting trash. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Bikes only trash collection. And it's still going, wow. St. Paul had a unified waste hauler and a unified waste hauling system. This is nuts. If these people all had a decade-long deep personal Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend like I know anything about the St. Paul trash problem. I just know it's a thing somehow. Somehow trash is a thing. Which I, I just don't, like, full stop, I don't get it. <laughs> what? Oh <my> <laughs> it used to be everybody in town had to pick up the phone and call one of a dozen yeah. To say I would like to contract your service. Okay. To haul my tracks. Which is like the old way Okay, so this is some sort of like libertarian fantasy. Yeah. But in St. Paul, which doesn't make sense to me, but I haven't lived here that long. The opposite example of that would be like down in Mankato. The city makes the contract city wide. Yeah. And they actually did change while I lived there. They went from waste management to some more local hauler. Yeah. But it's a single hauler, single schedule. You know when your stuff's going to get picked up. You don't have, but part of the problem with St. Paul is you have multiple garbage trucks on your street now. Oh, yeah. They didn't, uh, new people didn't do it right? Or? No, just because they didn't want it to change. And there were, so now, like, every residence is required and is charged for um, a bin. Yeah. And the old, the old ways are, you know, like, some neighbors that would get together and do the contract with the hall or share the same receptacle. Ah. Yeah. So have you been down on the other side, like where I asked earlier, to go down that hill? Down along the river? No, I have not. 
Yeah, so if you were to go out that way, you'd come out right here. Okay. We just always imagine that it's underwater or something like that. Uh, yeah, maybe not the greatest for a road bike. But, uh, yeah. But if you ever decide to bring your fat bike down here, then you could give it a go.